a very interesting definition uh, shows up under non-person. Uh, uniquely, a lot of these dictionaries, modern dictionaries, are having a real hard time uh, around dealing with anything that is contrary to the concept of person. So non-person, strangely enough, they can't get it out of their description of what they say is a non-person. So they even use person in it. They say it's a person who is regarded as non-existent. Well, if you're a non-person, then you're not a person. So that's ridiculous. Just to show you how badly, uh, you know, some of the modern versions of Webster's have become. But um, the second definition for the non-person uh, was one having no social or legal status. Now it's interesting when you look back at Roman history, the Romans uh, designated that children or deemed that children were not persons. Now when Jesus was chastising or correcting his apostles for stopping the children for, from approaching him, um, he rebuked them and said that they needed to humble themselves, make themselves meek, unassuming, for the meek will inherit the earth. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. We have to look at why would he have said something like that? Well, because at the time that Jesus was on the earth, he was surrounded by this Roman fiction system of legal status, and therefore he was reminding them um, to remember that children, being the perfect example of non-persons, because the Romans deemed them to be non-persons, so a child would have been just a child, a creation of God, something birthed out of reality, not out of legal fiction. So the perfect definition at that point for non-person is one having no social or legal status because surnames are legal. They are not natural. 